to explain the structure design applied to nuclear facility. Uh, I have uh, uh, read your uh, participants, your uh, profession uh, in the participants list, <clears throat> and, and, and I found, found that uh, there are nobody uh, who are who is uh, uh, major in uh, structure design. So the, uh, my talk is uh, rather unfamiliar to you. So uh, I'd like to speak from the basics. The first, uh, this one. Uh, this is uh, uh, so unfamiliar. I would like to skip on the. Oh, then uh, I would like to uh, start uh, this slide. Uh, in the morning, I have uh, already uh, explained uh, generation for SFR uh, like this. Uh, uh, we are, I am now focusing the what material is used to to this uh, uh, generation for SFR. Uh, look at the reactor vessel, 316 stainless steel, uh, low carbon, medium nitrogen is used. And uh, IHX pump integrated uh, component and the uh, steam generator, the high chrome steel, uh, more exactly to say that modified nine chrome, one molybdenum uh, steel is used. And as I have already mentioned, the, in the uh, uh, reactor core, uh, ODS. Uh, cladding is used. Uh, do you know the uh, modified nine chrome by molybdenum? Uh, the modify means the uh, niobium and the vanadium, a very uh, small content, very, very few small content is added to the uh, nine chrome uh, one molybdenum. So uh, we are, uh, 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 this uh, uh, steel is called modified nine chrome. Uh, the why uh, this, uh, this material is used for the generation for SFR? The, uh, first, the 316, ah, uh, before this slide, uh, I'd like to show you the uh, generation of Monju uh, material employed in Monju. So it is interesting to compare uh, what material is used and the, uh, the material is changed uh, to the uh, 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 Monju to generation four. Uh, in uh, reactor vessel or uh, piping, IHX, uh, all the uh, component, the 304 stainless steel is used. And the, the, uh, this is the, uh, the uh, steam generator. Uh, steam generator is separated to evaporator and superheater. However, uh, in generation four reactor, uh, superheater and evaporator are integrated and one component. Uh, evaporator 
concerned. Two quarter from one molybdenum is used, and uh, for superheater, three twenty one standard steel is used. The why uh, this material is used? Uh, I'd like to show you the reason why uh, and the property of materials. Uh, 316 concerned, uh, 304. It is excellent in high temperature strength and ductility, corrosion, resistance, workability, vulnerability, and has large degree of, uh, a low degree of embrittlement and hardening due to neutron irradiation. Uh, restriction on carbon and uh, cobalt uh, uh, is added. That's why uh, 304 is uh, used. The, uh, I will skip this one. And uh, the uh, st steam generator concerned evaporator, uh, two quarter chrome, one molybdenum is used because uh, the uh, evaporator uh, has some uh, uh, we have difficulty in using the stainless steel to uh, evaporator because the uh, stainless steel uh, uh, has suffered, may suffer from the stress corrosion cracking. So the uh, uh, stainless steel uh, cannot be used in the evaporator. Thus, the uh, ferritic steel, two quarter chrome, one molybdenum, is used. Uh, low alloy steel, uh, ferritic steel, uh, which is uh, proven in fossil power plant, in particular uh, heat exchanger. And, but, however, uh, the uh, superheater, uh, there is a, <coughs> in the uh, superheater, the uh, stainless steel is, uh, can be used because uh, there is no, uh, no uh, little pos possibility to, 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 uh, to arise uh, stress corrosion cracking. Thus, uh, 321 uh, stainless steel uh, is used. 321 uh, uh, is the uh, uh, stainless steel, which is uh, by which is added by the uh, titanium, titanium, and improve intergranular corrosion resistance. Uh, most of the people uh, 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 ask, uh, uh, asking uh, uh, to, to, to yourself that to the, if uh, superheater and the evaporator should be, uh, can be uh, integrated or not. The, uh, uh, in generation two or generation three, uh, in generation three, the, it is impossible uh, uh, to integrate because uh, we don't have, we didn't have uh, so good uh, material uh, to, 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 to resist the stress corrosion cracking and to uh, uh, have a, a high temperature strength, but strength. But uh, uh, in generation four, Uh, the uh, modified nine chrome one molybdenum is invented and has been developed. So uh, we have used we have used the, this material. This material is developed in Oak Ridge National Laboratory, uh, followed by Japan, etc. Uh, modified nine chrome has been used for boiler components, 
in ultra supercritical fossil power plant. So uh, modify uh, uh, nine chrome one molybdenum uh, is uh, proven material. Uh, And the uh, 316 is used for the reactor vessel. Uh, 316 is uh, like this. Uh, 316 is the 2.5 percent molybdenum is added to improve corrosion or something like that. Uh, so the uh, material uh, which is used for the uh, main component has has changed from uh, 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 generation two or generation three to generation four uh, reactor. Next uh, is the structure design for the first reactors. Uh, look at uh, this slide. The uh, horizontal means uh, thermal power, and the, the uh, vertical means uh, reactor outlet to, uh, temperature. Most of the uh, reactor, uh, the reactor outlet temperature uh, is uh, 550 degrees C or uh, something uh, lower than uh, this that region uh, this is the uh, comparison of operating condition with LWR uh, LWR uh, material uh, of reactor vessel is ferrite steel and the uh, current, uh, of course, water. Uh, operating temperature is like this, and the uh, pressure is like this. Uh, the uh, first, re uh, first reactor, oceanetic uh, standard steel used for the reactor vessel, like this. The, look at this, uh, this one. Uh, uh, the uh, temperature is uh, very high uh, compared to the uh, LWR and the uh, operation pressure is very low compared to LWR. Uh, so uh, that's this uh, operating condition has have a very much uh, influence to the uh, structure design. This is the uh, another uh, uh, comparison uh, between uh, LW and R and the first reactor. Uh, left hand side is uh, uh, condition of light water reactor, and right hand side is uh, fast reactor. The, uh, as I have mentioned, the uh, stress due to uh, uh, internal pressure uh, causes that such stress, membrane stress, we call membrane stress, uh, it's so large. And uh, the thermal stress is com uh, rather small. Uh, then uh, it is concluded, uh, we find that load control stress uh, is uh, governs the uh, stress condition. Uh, for the first reactor, the internal pressure is uh, very is small. Thus, the membrane stress is small. And sodium, 
temperature fluctuation is uh, large compared to uh, light water reactor, thermal stress dominates. And that's why uh, the for fast reactor, the displacement controlled stress uh, governs. So uh, please uh, compare uh, light water reactor load control stress and fast reactor displacement control stress. Uh, that's the difference uh, uh, makes uh, 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 this uh, structure design uh, very much. Uh, maybe you, you are not familiar to the load control stress or displacement control stress terminology. Uh, this one is uh, load control stress, left hand side. Uh, the, uh, this is the weight and this is the bar. bar. Uh, then the, uh, if the weight is so large, the uh, bar will be a such like such like this, deformed, and the, the uh, weight is too large. The uh, deformation uh, is unlimited, unlimitedly uh, deformed. But however, uh, it, displacement control stress, uh, dis displacement control stress is like this. Uh, this is a bar, and uh, 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 screw, screw. Some uh, deformation is uh, uh, added. The uh, displacement is. Uh, Finite, not uh, unlimited. The, so the uh, strain is uh, finite. Uh, this uh, stress control uh, condition does not to, uh, uh, deform uh, unlimitedly. Displacement, because displacement is uh, uh, already. Uh, Finite. Yeah, um, light water reactor condition, uh, the load control stress uh, dominates. And again, the uh, fast reactor uh, condition, displacement control stress uh, dominates. Please re remember uh, this. Uh, uh, this one. And the, the, he, here, uh, I would like to uh, show you what type of thermal load is uh, added to the uh, structure. Generally speaking, the effect of thermal transient of uh, on structure material in uh, fast reactors are more severe than uh, light water reactors because, because of the heat transfer char characteristic. And the uh, thermal conductivity and the thermal expansion uh, rate. Uh, the uh, thermal transient uh, uh, there are many uh, kinds of thermal stress, but to the, uh, uh, I, I would like to show you the uh, typical thermal transient, uh, which arises in the fast reactor. First is uh, the, uh, like this, screw thickness temperature gradient. The, this is the vessel wall. And this is the uh, fluid. The, uh, if the fluid 
uh, as uh, some uh, temperature transient, then the, uh, the thickness, uh, something like this uh, uh, temperature uh, gradient may occur. Then, uh, this is the uh, actual temperature gradient uh, near thermal, uh, near sodium surface. Uh, below the uh, sodium surface, uh, it, temperature is uh, almost uh, constant, uh, like this. But the, uh, in the Cabagas region, uh, temperature uh, uh, goes down to, 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 to the, uh, this. So the temperature uh, uh, profile is like this. If the uh, uh, temperature uh, goes up, then the uh, temperature uh, or sodium temperature goes up, then the uh, temperature pro profile like uh, will, will will be like this. Like this. Then the uh, uh, which arises uh, thermal stress like this. Uh, this is uh, this thermal stress is in the order of uh, uh, this order. And one, uh, one more uh, typical uh, thermal stress is uh, like this. Uh, this is a, a tube sheet, tube sheet, perforated plate. The, uh, if the uh, so uh, there is a heat transfer tube. Many heat, heat transfer tube penetrate in this region. The, if the uh, uh, sodium uh, inside the uh, heat transfer tube uh, has some uh, thermal transient, then uh, perforated plate uh, follow quickly. But the, uh, however. Uh, this region does not def uh, cannot uh, follow quickly. Thus, the, uh, there is uh, uh, big thermal uh, stress arises. Uh, next is the uh, thermal stratification. Uh, this is a ves vessel. Uh, this is uh, the uh, inlet piping and the outlet piping. Normally, uh, the uh, so sodium uh, will goes like this, like this. Uh, however, uh, when the uh, cold shock after uh, reactor trip without pump driving force. Uh, then the uh, cold sodium cannot uh, go like this because there is a hot sodium uh, prevent to, uh, cold sodium uh, going like this. So uh, the, uh, there is a, a here a big, uh, uh, temperature uh, difference arises here, like here. The upper side uh, very hot, uh, hot sodium, and the, the lower side cold sodium. Uh, then uh, uh, this is the uh, big temperature uh, differences. Uh, which arises uh, a big thermal stress. Next uh, is uh, also typical to uh, first reactor. Uh, 
uh, it's a, a piping uh, cold flow uh, like this and hot fluid like this. The, this region is the region for mixture. Uh, the, uh, the uh, temperature is very uh, fluctuate and the uh, thermal stress also fluctuate uh, around this portion. Uh, this is the typical uh, thermal striping. The big cold sodium uh, flows uh, the uh, control rod and uh, hot sodium uh, goes up in the uh, fuel uh, subassembly. Then the, uh, at the top of the fuel subassembly or uh, controlled subassembly, uh, there is a mixture region, region uh, like this. So there is a, 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 there is a, a big uh, thermal fluctuation uh, that uh, we call it uh, thermal striping. Uh, next, uh, then uh, how I would like to move to the uh, how to uh, uh, prevent the uh, failure from such an uh, thermal stress or uh, pressure load. Then uh, this is the uh, uh, failure mode uh, for the uh, first reactor. Uh, we uh, that bridge fracture does not occur in the first reactor because of the, uh, the uh, standard steel is used. But the ductile fracture, buckling, excessive deformation, fatigue is the main uh, failure mode. So the, uh, we should the, uh, design structure, we should make a, a structure design uh, for, for <clears throat> against uh, this, this failure mode. Uh, and this is the very basics uh, to you. A ductile fracture uh, means like this. The, uh, this is the uh, specimen, uh, tensile test specimen. Uh, this uh, horizontal means strain, and the, the uh, vertical means stress. And if the uh, metallic metal, uh, then the uh, like this. This uh, this region is uh, linear. Uh, linear. The, we call it elastic. The after uh, this stress yield point, then the something like this and the fracture. Uh, on the other hand, uh, if we use uh, the glass, which is uh, the typical brittle, uh, brittle uh, material, then uh, something like this. Elastic and then uh, fracture. So uh, this, this uh, 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 strain is called uh, ductile, ductile region.
And another uh, failure mode is creep. Uh, this creep uh, phenomena is uh, uh, specific to the uh, high temperature region. And if we uh, you, uh, use uh, the uh, uh, specimen and the load like this and the, uh, add heat in order to uh, this material to be hot, then the uh, this specimen uh, behave uh, the behavior of the, the, this specimen is like this, like this. Uh, vertical means elongation. Uh, Uh, this means the uh, uh, time, uh, logarithmic time. In the first stage, uh, the uh, elongation, uh, elongation uh, increase rapidly, and then steady, steady uh, region like this, and finally uh, the. Uh, erogation increase very quickly and rupture. We call it uh, primary creep, secondary creep, tertiary creep. And this is the uh, very uh, dangerous failure uh, mode. If you, uh, sorry, uh, the, uh, this, this slide show, uh, uh, shows the creep rupture time and the temperature or stress. Uh, horizontal means rupture time and the uh, vertical means stress. Then the, uh, if we uh, use the specimen, uh, 650, uh, then the, uh, like this. Uh, 200 megapascal uh, stress, then the, uh, almost uh, 200 hours uh, is the rapture time in uh, 650 degrees C. But to the, uh, if we place it in the uh, 600 degrees C, then the uh, uh, rupture time will be is uh, one, 100,000 uh, hours. So the uh, stress uh, affects Influence of stress is very good, very high. And this is the uh, most uh, critical uh, failure mode. Uh, we call it uh, creep fatigue. Uh, this is the specimen. And, uh, uh, this is the uh, inside sodium uh, goes through like this. Uh, sodium temperature uh, uh, 300 degrees C uh, for uh, 10 minutes. After that, to, uh, sodium temperature goes up uh, to 550 degrees C for 50 minutes, and uh, we repeated, uh, repeated uh, this uh, thermal transient uh, to uh, 1,000 cycles, and then we cut it. Uh, we found uh, like this, uh, uh, there is a crack. 
specimen number, so, uh, number three, number two, number one. Uh, all the specimens suffered from the uh, uh, crack, cracking. And this is the uh, uh, cliff fatigue life. Uh, horizontal means whole time, and uh, vertical means number of cycles to failure. Uh, the whole time means the uh, stress rise up and hold, stress hold uh, like this and then go down. If the uh, whole time uh, is uh, 0 0.01 uh, hour, a number of fa uh, cycles to failure uh, is 250, uh, 2,000 and uh, 2,500 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, cycles. Uh, but the, if we, uh, we uh, hold, if whole time uh, is more longer, something uh, ten hour, then the uh, failure uh, cycle decreases uh, very much uh, around the thirty, uh, three hundred. So the. Uh, oh, one tenth. The whole time uh, effect of uh, whole time is very uh, very large. Uh, this is the uh, how to uh, uh, limit the creep fatigue damage. Uh, we I go I skip this one. And uh, this is the expected failure mode of uh, reactor vessel. Uh, as I have mentioned, the uh, cliff fatigue crack is uh, most dangerous uh, failure mode. Uh, this is the uh, specimen uh, we, uh, that we have uh, tested. Uh, please look at uh, cracks like this and cracks like this. Uh, so uh, these are the uh, failure mode expected to the fast reactor. Next, uh, neutron irradiation. Uh, of course, uh, there is uh, Reactor vessels are subjected, are subjected to the neutron irradiation. The, the, if, we, if the uh, vessel is subject to the fast neutron, then the uh, First neutron lead to the uh, reduction in ductility. The, the uh, if vessel is subject to thermal neutron, then uh, thermal neutron uh, generate uh, the helium atom from the uh, boron. Boron, boron 10, uh, which uh, enhanced the uh, aggregation of vacancy to the grain boundary and uh, uh, then reduction in ductility and the creep result, creep strength. Uh, these are the uh, uh, neutron irradiation effect. Ah, that is the uh, Uh, the uh, uh, 
structure design for the uh, uh, thermal transient. Next, we e, 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 uh, move to the uh, dynamic design. Uh, Continue. No uh, after next next slide. Uh, this is a uh, ceramic design for a uh, fast reactor. Uh, excuse me, the, uh, I would like to move to the uh, movie. Yeah, this one, this one. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Uh, this is the uh, vibration test uh, which anticipated to the uh, mode piping. Uh, the uh, seismic level is far beyond the uh, design basis axis, uh, uh, design base uh, earthquake, far beyond. The, uh, this component does not rupture or fracture. Excuse me, next. Uh, this is the another component, uh, elbow. Uh, again, the uh, vibration level is far beyond the uh, design base uh, seismic earthquake. As, I, as you know, the uh, Fukushima uh, accident, the uh, Fukushima uh, nuclear power plant uh, has uh, suffered from the uh, big, big earthquake, earthquake. And the uh, severe accident arises. However, the, uh, all the pipings 
or all the equipment are integrated, keep integrated, keep the uh, integ keep in keep uh, structural integrity. The, uh, it is very uh, surprising uh, that because the uh, uh, earthquake uh, is uh, far beyond the uh, design basis. So uh, uh, we have uh, uh, make a ex uh, experiment uh, why uh, that uh, why uh, piping or equi equipment survives uh, and keep uh, structural integrity. Um, uh, before uh, the accident, uh, most of the people expected that the piping or equipment uh, would be uh, should be uh, collapse or buckle because the uh, seismic level is far beyond the uh, uh, design basis. Uh, and as I have uh, explained, uh, the piping and the uh, equipment survives the, uh, re then recent uh, studies have shown that the failure mode of the uh, piping subject to the uh, reversing dynamic loads, which means the uh, earthquake is not plastic collapse, but fatigue or ratchet fatigue. Uh, This is the uh, recent uh, knowledge. And we have uh, uh, studied the uh, extremely high level seismic test using uh, fast reactor piping. Uh, so uh, we have, uh, I have shown already uh, the uh, and uh, this is the result of the uh, extremely high level vib vibration test. Uh, the, this is the uh, elbow. The elbow does not uh, rupture or collapse, but the uh, elbow there is a fatigue crack like this. The uh, failure mode of fast reactor piping subject to excessive earthquake motion is through wall fatigue crack. This is the uh, uh, important knowledge. Uh, the ASME code section three. Uh, this is the uh, typical uh, uh, design code. Uh, recently, uh, typical uh, this ASM, ASME code uh, criteria uh, has changed like this. In the pipe subject to the reversing dynamic load, which means the uh, earthquake, uh, satisfying uh, like this, uh, the um, stress limit expanded uh, 1.5 times. So the Uh, 
we have uh, uh, this is a uh, ASM code is only applicable to the uh, thick piping. So we have uh, tested the uh, thin piping and uh, shown and have shown that the uh, earthquake does not uh, uh, cause any rupture or any uh, uh, plastic collapse. Instead, the, the fatigue crack uh, may uh, arise. This is a dramatic change in the, for the uh, design of uh, uh, earthquake. Uh, we have, uh, I have, uh, and uh, the another topic is uh, the uh, severe accident. Uh, after uh, uh, Fukushima accident, the uh, regulatory, regulatory body uh, asked us, uh, if the uh, containment, containment vessel is uh, integral or not uh, after severe accident. So we have uh, tested, uh, studied. The, uh, fortunately, uh, the uh, containment building, uh, uh, containment vessel concerned uh, Sandia National Laboratory in the U.S. Uh, have already uh, tested a series of tests uh, two or three decades ago and uh, shown the uh, containment vessel has survived uh, with uh, the extre extremely uh, high pressure. Uh, and uh, we have tested the, the uh, containment boundary specific to first breed reactor. Uh, first, uh, this one, and this one. Uh, the, this is a uh, disc uh, which suffered the, the high pressure from the outside. Then the uh, Buckling occurs like this, like this, and the, the pressure uh, is very much high uh, compared to the design uh, pressure. Design pressure is like this. And also the uh, Here, uh, we have used the, the bellows around here. Bellows uh, suffer the, the high pressure. Then the uh, bellows uh, backward uh, like this. The, also, uh, the uh, failure, pressure to failure is very high. Then uh, I will move to the inspection and maintenance. The uh, inspection criteria concerned the uh, leak before break concept uh, is important for the fast breeder reactor. Uh, and the leak detection concerned the, uh, uh, based on the uh, leak before break concept, uh, it is possible to detect leakage of coolant by monitoring the leakage of sodium using high sensitive leak detectors. Then uh, uh, we used this type of uh, uh, inspection, inspection. Uh, for Monju, the uh, uh, 
like this. Okay. That means thank you. <laughs>